Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here for this area championship. My name is Eric Alexander, Alex Cantu on the camera. It's going to be a fun day here, home of the United Longhorns, but it will be home of the Bird Bowl here tonight as the Hawks taking on the Cardinals. You know, Harlingen coming in here, took the long way to get to Laredo, Texas. Same can be said here for this Harlan squad. And, you know, for San Antonio Harlan, they have a lot of aspirations this season. Feel they can make a big playoff push. But one man that's not going to be on the court for them today will be Carlin Hargrove, was their starting point guard, a senior for this team who saw himself have a big splash, but unfortunately will not be in here tonight, is hurt. But a couple players to really look out for. Knowledge Carter, number three, currently at the top of the key. It's a good pass inside, working down low, but a good defensive effort. Going to stop things quickly. As the Harlingen and Cardinals. You know, one of the factors that we were talking about was going to be a big issue was how is the height advantage from this San Antonio Harlan team going to come into effect? A good layup will not be able to go. A defensive effort is able to ward that one away. And, you know, one of the factors, mostly everyone over that 6'3 mark here. Still players under six foot here for Harlan. Harlingen and South are going to have to try to find a matchup that really suits them the best. As Trying to work this ball around. Inside pass. Won't be able to get picked up. And the quick transition play here for the Hawks. Yeah, and good play inside. Just trying to take his time. Good composure, but won't lead to the first two points. Both these teams still trying to open up the score line here with the first 60 seconds potentially off the board. Yeah, first 60 seconds. This is kind of where you're seeing these two teams just dip their toe into the water. Not trying to exert too much. Trying to find their flow into this game here in this fourth quarter. There's nothing that you need to do besides trying to adapt to what the defense is going to give you. Try to take what's given and try to just set yourself up for long runs later on. And the quick pass will be stolen away. Three-point attempt. Won't be able to hit there. But second half efforts will be able to fall in. And a good pass inside. We'll bring on to two as that one will go out of bounds. Good pass. Trying to find his way in. First two points will now come in here for the Hawks. Is, you know, they're just trying to start. They need to find a way to slow this game down. Try to set yourself up, work off a pick and roll, allow for a screen to open up an open man at the heart of the Cardinals trying to push on a big lead. You know, right now, one possession game, just two points. Now where you see this team continue to struggle or find their way into a panic mode is a way inside. Will be stopped. Two defenders in his face. Won't be able to fall through with a good defensive rebound. Stolen right away from the men in black. And the men in black, second chance attempt, can't go through, continuing to try to find anything to go in, but are going to have to just come up short. And the big shot from downtown, three-pointer. Yeah, that's this, this team now trying to get themselves going through, and you no, know, for this Harlingen Cardinal squad, it's being able to go shot for shot. You know, it's gonna be a tough ball game. The San Antonio Harlingen squad has such great shooters on their hands, and this one will be just chaos at the ball. But the half effort will come for the Harlingen Cardinals. As that one gonna be the first chance at the charity strike here tonight. Yeah, 5:15 remaining here, and we're you see the first foul. It's been a clean day overall, as it will be number 23 in J.C. Aleman. Sorry, number 24, Alex Hernandez. 6'4 forward here. We'll be able to drain the first one. Yeah, that right there puts them back to equal 3-3 ball game. And, you know, a lot of great teams, you live and die by the charity strike. You have to find a way to go 50%. One for two is always a hallmark of great shooters. That one will be able to go perfect on the evening. Quick pass to the opposite end. Trying to work his way inside. And the layup and one. And one, that's going to give them start of this lead, three to four. Sorry, five to three. Five, four. 
Yeah, a little dyslexia. Dyslexia right there, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. You know, it's been a fun day overall. We've been able to cover some big sports. This one will be able to get put in to put this back into a two-point lead here for the boys in white as they're looking to get themselves a clean victory. You know, in this area championship, things don't get easier. You have to continue trying to fight through the fire, allow yourself to roll on momentum. And this one can't get the touch to go, but will be able to get the defensive rebound. And the ability by Harnigan so far to continue trying to fight the rim, get these second chance opportunities, are going to be one of the biggest factors that really lead them into a big win here tonight. This one will be going out of bounds off the leg of one of the boys here from San Antonio Harlan. Yeah, and this is going to try to see how defensive, how aggressive the defense is going to be here. You already see I'm picking up there. Basically a full court press here. They're not going to allow them to transition onto this offense too easily. And, you know, for Harnage and South, we've seen them struggle to really get good open looks. And for them, it's been one of those games where you have to continue to drive, drive, drive. And a three-point attempt. Splash! Bang from downtown. As that's going to be the first three-pointer of the evening here for the Cards. Yep, the, Car the Cards and Cardinals coming in with a big three-pointer of their own. Couldn't have come in a better time as that one will go out of bounds. Go right back for the Harlan Cardinals. Great heads-up play there. We will see the first sub coming in. Number 14 sees his time in the sun. Ashton Bajaras, 6'1 guard here. Junior, trying to see what type of experience he can gain from playing in a big ball game like this. And, you know, for the Harlan Cardinals, they've known to be a great basketball team in the Rio Grande Valley, but... For them, it's been pick pushes to really make those moments huge as this one will be called an offensive foul going back for the Hawks. Man, the Hawks right now doing a good job really putting themselves in a good position. But the question really is, you know, right now, you're doing a heck of a job staying in this. San Antonio Harlan, they're going to try and continue training out this field. Look for him to try to get that extra pass. Three-point attempt will be called a two-pointer, a foot on the line, but a defensive rebound. We'll be able to get a nice shot up. Bang from the downtown. Caught that three-pointer. Nine to seven here. Yeah, nine seven. And now San Antonio Harlan about to put an easy two-pointers on the board. That one will be called free throw. Two shots there, the charity strike. We have two shots here. That's for Harlingen. Right now, you see yourself still with a one transition game. And for yourself leading to really make a big difference, one aspect to continue trying to play a clean game. And we will see a sub coming in here for one of the starters for the Harlan Hawks. Yeah, I believe that is number four, Elijah Moore, the 5'11 guard. The junior on this team trying to show you that this squad here for San Antonio Harlan, they have such youngsters. They're only two seniors, Liam McCray as well as Carlin Hangrove, who is currently not playing today due to an injury. And, you know, without Hangrove, you lose your starting point guard, the man who initiates his offense, allows this bloodline for San Antonio Harlan to really continue to beat and flow. It's good press defense, able to push him on. Trying to continue on the dribble, will be able to. As a good job here by San Antonio Harlan, making things difficult. And you're seeing them. They're playing aggressive. They're, they're allowing themselves to try to get into the head of this Harlan Cardinal squad. And they said, hey, it's a bird ball. Well, our wings are going to be the one to stretch the highest. It's trying to find a way. Good screen will be picked up by the off tall defender. Almost trying to get a rip there. Will lose for that. We'll picking it right back into the corner. Three pointer will not be able to come through. And a jump ball in store. Harding and High, I believe, will get this number 10. And Joaquin sees Nettles, the freshman, going to have his first types here in the area championship. You know, and coming in here with such a young player, they have to have high confidence into his ability. The basketball IQ for him going to be huge. And this one will be picked right back up and put right in. Two points on the board. No and four, San Antonio Holland. Nope, 216 remaining. 
as the boys in black see themselves down 13 to seven and you know almost down by double and just need yourself to really just find ways to be consistent and sometimes you don't need to have big shots you just need to be able to get consistent so this one will be no shot going right back the other way and a foul called and that one will be on Zach Thomas Thompson I'm sorry Thompson now the junior here, Thompson 6'5". One of the big men down low to help clean up the glass is going to be looked to to really make a difference for his squad. And, you know, when you have the height advantage here, you have to be able to really use that to continue allowing yourself to get second and third opportunities. And we've seen San Antonio Holland have those shots. And this one will be able to fall on through. Count that in nine. San Antonio Holland. Trying to find an open teammate. We'll be able to get pass inside, but a lot of contact there. We'll have this one. Yeah, you saw him leave his feet. Enough forcing for him. Just caught the, the whistle of the rep. As we will see, number 23. And J.C. Aleman checking himself right back in. You know, 5'9 senior. Looking at the cards that we have. One of the shorter players on the court. He's tied for... Third short on his team, but showing that, hey, I don't matter here. We know what we're about, as this one will go right back the other way, and the second foul will go on more. Well, I don't, I don't think the official foul, I don't know if they put it at, on him, but you know, three fouls right now for this Hawk squad, four for the Cardinals, one away from bonus, and you have to not allow yourself to, to give free opportunity to the Chiefs. So we're talking about that at the beginning of the first quarter. It's, it's just you know, one of the basics that we've seen covering basketball all year long is being able to come in, play your brand, and not allow for the opposition to capitalize on mistakes that you're giving up, and the quick shot inside will not be able to go through. San Antonio Harlan, a quick transition play. They're trying to set themselves up in the corner. We'll get an extra pass at the top of the key. Working this one around. Good slash inside. And count it. Yeah, and one. No, interesting. You know, many would have felt that the feet were set there, but heck of a job fighting through and being able to make that shot there for Knowledge Carter. And Carter beforehand, we were talking to some of the fans here in the stand, who to really to look out for. And it was consistent that Carter has to be that man that, that we have to look for, especially when we're talking about Han uh, Hargrove not being able to be here. This is where you have to look at who's going to be that next man up. Who's going to step into the limelight and say, I'm not scared of the light. I want to shine right to this one. Still looking for their stars here tonight as Harlan Cardinals need to get some points on the board. Currently down the run, the three-point attempt won't be able to fall. Yeah, unnecessary shot there. You're down right now by seven. Make that nine. You cannot just give up easy shots and just give away possession like that. You, you know how well coached this team here for the Hawks. Now there will be a hold on Jordan Mangum. Mangum, the freshman. And after he had to tell the pitch, he just, hey, I like what you're doing. You just got caught in that moment. Keep playing your game, young man. Goldfish mentality. Just say, hey, we just keep working. We don't worry about the little things. We just have to come in this game and, and show what we're made out of. And it looks like we will see Elijah Moore have a quick seed. And I believe he has two or three fouls already here in this first quarter. And that's just going to be tough later on. He's going to get himself into foul trouble. His coach now having to use that as a thought process of when to use him. Three-point attempt, hand in his face. Won't be able to go. And the rebound will come in for the card. And one. You needed something, and you got a possibility for three points on the board. That's going to put this team into double digits. Down by seven will be the boys in black and red. And, you know, a little homage for all you Michael Jordan fans out there. Basically, North Carolina Tar Heels versus Chicago Bulls, if you're looking just at jerseys. And I'm uh, for it. You know, all, all these boys coming in here trying to make a big move for themselves. And, you know, big all-stars that they admire, and they're trying to become those all-stars themselves. And it will just be Williams trying to work up the court. Looking for an opportunity. Quick pass will be picked right back up. Quick steal for the boys in black. 
And the transitional play able to get him off his feet, but the rebound coming in and stolen right away. Wow. Just picked his pockets. Well, got a hand in. Great heads up play. Travel called here. Seven seconds remaining. And the momentum is starting to pile on from the boys from Harlingen. Yeah, this is where San Antonio and Harlan just have to slow things down. Maybe a timeout here. Well, there's seven seconds, so just go into the half. You're going to have one shot opportunity left for Harlingen. You're down by two possessions, four points. So you can't tie the game, but you can try to bring it into one, at least into two. But you need these points here. You've been on a dry spell. It's been tough for you to grab anything. And this is a huge play for themselves. Yeah, and a good job just trying to work to the defense. A foul called. That's going to be five fouls. And that one will put them into bonus. Yeah, both teams now into five. And it will reset at the start of the next quarter. Three seconds remaining. So Santa and Harlan, if both of these go through, you're going to have to just see if you can get a quick shot going. First one will cut the lead down by three. As we see Jordan Mangum have a seat here tonight. The freshman's been playing phenomenally here in this first quarter. Eight minutes already on his tally. That one, two for two at the line. Going to push this down to a two-point deficit. And a three-point attack from the logo will not be able to go. 18-16, two-point ball game here in Laredo, Texas for the Bird Bowl between Santa Holland Hawks and the Harlingen Cardinals. We'll be right back after this quick break. Back into the fold, a fresh eight minutes on the board and two points separating both these two teams. As, nope, San Antonio Harlan, they have played amazing in that first start of that first quarter, but it was all Harlingen Hawks, Harlingen Cardinals from there as the Hawks needed to come through. You know, you know for the Harlingen Cardinals, when you look at the logo or the mascot of the Hawks, they can look across the street from the Harlingen South Hawks themselves and say, hey, we're used to playing another, we're used to playing in big Bird Bowl games. Now this Bird Bowl team is just coming in from San Antonio and then instead of across the street. And this is where you have to just come in and say, hey, we need ourselves to just wake up. Did a great job of being able to make a run late. But a big three-pointer by the freshman. Able to start this second quarter off right. And hey, start her off right. That's right. They're going to put this 21-16. This is where San Antonio Harlan just need to continue playing some good defense. But another three trying to go back to back. But... The shooting spree, he's gonna have to stop there. And the path to the corner won't be able to get picked up. Yeah, good pass there, unfortunately. Just a small breakdown of communication. Orange and Cardinal are now gonna be able to try to work this down full court. And you're seeing Santino and Harlan deciding not to go for the full court press here, just trying to let them come right back and onto the offensive end on their side. And a quick pass to the corner will just allow this one to go around the bend. And Orange and High, three point attempt. Off the front of the rim, second chance, count it. And a huge shot there. Yeah, great job so far from this team from Harlingen. They've been able to just continue playing at a big effort. As are able to work above the screen. Trying to feed him to the corner. And you see his body there, not allowing himself to drive in. But Big three-point attempt from the corner. Won't be able to get pushed through. It's Harnage and High trying to grab a rebound, but pushed right back in. And a two-point dunk 
in and out. As Orange and High come right back in with their two points. Yeah, 2018. And you no, know, right now Orange and High needing to get themselves right back on the up and up. And this is one where you're seeing from the boys, or actually the fans here, the boys in black and red. You know, this is a big game so far. By the way, they've been able to play. Two point attempt there. Gonna be able to push this back to a 23 20 ball game. As the defense chance coming in, the crowd starting to get their hands on this ball game. And, you know, big shout out to both these fans for like traveling the way they did. The mid range shot won't be able to come on through. For Orange and High, you have to find ways to get better shot attempts than that. Don't settle. Try to get what you can, especially here in high school basketball, Angel. There is no shot clock. These teams can take as much time as they want to find the shot they needed. And a missed pass there. We'll just be able to have a quick transition. Trying to work on through and a foul called. And that looks like he tripped over himself a bit. But they're still going to call this one. First foul of the evening. Yeah, that's, that's just unfortunate there, but we will see two new players coming in. Number five and Andrew Galdamez. And I believe as well as number 22, Butter Aleman. We'll try to see if they can try to change things. This one will go out of bounds. We'll stay a Harlingen Cardinal ball. Yeah, 527 remaining here and three points really separating the two teams. And we've seen Harlingen continue to struggle to try and get some good shots. But the one thing that's been keeping them in is the great transitional defense. This team has so much effort. They understand the moment they're in. And, you know, as area championship, this squad trying to get into that next round of this one will get picked up. And that will it'll be a kick ball. Yeah, just a kick ball back the other way. And you know, he tried his best to keep that one in bounce. But unfortunately, his feet just getting the best of him. Oh, and now Orange and High again able to get a big possession. You know, it's been just a big turnover battle so far for San Antonio Harlan. But for themselves, you know, I feel a lot of these fans are really shocked on how this is going. As a big inside shot won't be able to go. Orange and High picking this one up. We'll be able to get it as that one will build it to 22. Wow, great opportunity. This team right now is just starting to really show effort. So this one will get out of bounds. But the defensive effort by number three and Luis Rodriguez showing out in a big way. Yeah, Rodriguez right now. No, nope, you saw him just dive out for a potential steal and just couldn't grab it for himself. But, nope, this is where Harlan and High going to allow for San Antonio Harlan to try to set up their offense. And this is where we've been asking San Antonio Harlan to get. It feels like they've just been trying to work on the transitional play. And, nope, by that, they're unable to try to spread this defense thin. The three-point attempt will be able to get hauled through. That's going to push a 26. Four-point lead right back on the board. Yeah, four-point lead. And now for San Antonio. Trying to see if they can get a stop here and not allow for the points to come through. And a three-point attempt. We'll be able to fall. Bang, bang. The bell is being rang. That's Harlingen and High still down by a point, but it's been impressive. He's getting extra dribble. We'll be able to push this into the corner. Three-point attempt. Can't connect. And the boys in black not trying to run their way onto their side of the court. Needing to get an extra pass, able to get the defense of oh up, as this one will be hauled right back in, but no foul called there. Hey, you, you see him this, you see him hustling, but they can't play too quick. They're down by one now. This is kind of where you just kind of take a breath, allow for yourself to kind of get a feel, and allow yourself more to take some time. And the reason I, I use that word allow myself for that about four times in that last sentence is because. No, you're not going to be giving yourself anything. You have to find ways to just go back in here and try to take some control. And no, you're not allowed too much effort. The mid-range attempt will just end up being a pass down low as a foul call will say stepped out of bounds, I believe. Was, no, it will be a foul on number 24. It's number, uh, it will be a hold as Liam McRae will come into the bench as we will see Elijah Moore stepping right back up at the junior. 
Trying to get back some good work. And yeah, the only issue here is the fact of how many fouls he has. I believe two or three fouls. And you know, if he gets in that foul trouble, he gets that fourth, fifth foul, you can kind of see yourself may wait to late in the second half to really see him come himself right back in it. As this one will be a foul call. Three minutes remaining. This one will be able to connect 27-25 to push this lead up by two and for San Antonio. You know, they didn't feel that this is where this team was potentially going to be at, but you see the Harlan Cardinals, they have just been able to show full effort on this play. It's two for two at the rim, or at the basket, that is. We'll push it back to a three-point lead. That's Harlan and High trying to come right back into it. Fake shot there, try to see if he can get the defender to get off his feet. Harnsen, trying to work off the screen. Quick inside pass will be picked up as diving bodies. This one going right back in for San Antonio. Inside, we'll be able to get it. And that's the height advantage we're talking about. And for this player number 11, in Kareem Williams, 6'5". But looking like he's 6'7 on the court. A good pass here. We'll be able to have an exchange here on the offensive end. Right back in, a quick transitional point. And a timeout call for quick points coming through. That's going to set up to a quick break. 25-32 here in the home of the Longhorns. But now the home of the Bird Bowl. We'll be right back at this quick commercial break. Back into the game here. Two minutes remaining as these two teams have really tried to make a mark here tonight. I think they've, they've done a good job. And we've seen some high level offense, but it was San Antonio Harlan right before that timeout who saw their team kind of just erupt with some quick play. This one will be a foul called. And, you know, that was a, that was a tough one. That, that might have a trainer come out onto the court. You no, know, just kind of hit himself hard. Nothing intentional here, no bad blood whatsoever, but nope. In a game where these two teams are fighting for their lives, it's only common to see things like that happen. A three-point attempt from downtown. Able to make it rain. He's been consistent. Worth three on his jersey and showing why that is. That's 28-32. Back to a four-point game, two-possession game. And this one will be lost. But picked right back up in the corner. Does not have a dribble. But will be able to get a pass out. Daniel Harlan, I know work, but whistle's called. As that one. We'll try to see what they can potentially get going. Well, San Antonio Harlan, you just need to get, find a way to just beat them inside. And now they're kind of just saying, we don't need to go for three point. We don't need to go for big shots. All we have to do is go to the glass and use our height. It's one of those where height's a huge opportunity where you can just get yourself in those positions to where, where this defense has nothing to do. You have an arm over them. No matter how they jump, you jump a bit higher. As a transition play right back, able to have good body control. Final 60 seconds. 
And an eight point lead coming in. You know, San Antonio Harlem right now is trying to work everyone around. And you know, the Twin Towers with them down low is a really big, de a big deal for them. You've seen the 2 3 defense, two men up top, three men covering down the paint, trying to not allow themselves to really find too many shots inside. And they know that they can close out quickly, so they can give some leeway there. As we will see that Harrington may take the final shot here. We said there was no shot clock, but final 15 seconds. Worked inside. That one won't be able to go. What could have put it to six point deficit? We'll stay eight and make that one eight as this one will call. Well, whistles call towards the back end. And it looks like there's one second remaining. We will have a foul called. And it looks like they're trying to figure out if this one will end it or we will go into it. And it looks like there will be one second remaining on the clock. So we'll play this out. You no, know, anything can happen. A quick shot, a quick inbound pass. Try to find someone in the corner. Just chuck it up and see what you can potentially do. But it's going to have to be quick nonetheless. They may just try to go inside, but it will be Harlingen High with the ball here. But we'll go back the other way as one more shot will come in here on the half of Santa Ana Harlan. Oh, actually, we'll be underneath their basket, so. Look for them just to try to get a quick basket inside. This one won't be able to fall in. Final shot, we'll have to wait. And we will go to a commercial break here in the home of the Bird Bowl. My name's Eric Alexander. I was 10 on the camera. We'll be right back.
back here, third quarter, second half of action. And we have a fresh eight minutes, 16 total towards the back end of this game. But 28 to 36 currently is Harlingen High. Trying to change the tide. This one will be all ball called and will go out of bounds. Tipped off one of the Harlingen defenders. And that's going to stop the clock here at 747. Shooting there, and you know, it's been a fun game. I'm, I'm excited to see how these two teams come out of the locker room. Because, you know, it's going to be one of those games where you try to tell yourself, hey, we got, we know we're, we were up against a good contest. If you don't make it to the area championship and not be a good ball team, everyone's good here. The quick pass right up will be not called, but second chance attempts. We'll put two on the board. Yeah, put two on the board, but more importantly, cut this lead down by six. And, you know, his team. Just wasn't able to get that last shot. Same thing can be said here for San Antonio Harlan. This one will be passed inside. Finger roll leads to two as that one. Quick transitional play. Two points for both these teams here in the third quarter as these teams are now taking the monkey off their back and seeing some success. And San Antonio Harlan needing to pick up big on defense. Trying to use the man. A good job there on the switch off the screen. The pass in the corner. Three-pointer, too short, a second chance at 10. Nobody able to come near him, but can't drop that ball down. No, San Antonio right now. Going to see what they can potentially get their hands on in terms of a couple points and open looks as San Antonio Harlan trying to work this ball around. Uh, you see this team just trying to make do a methodical play. Good job cutting his way inside the basket, but we'll hit the top of the basket. Go back for the Cardinal ball. The Cardinal ball, eight points separate the two teams. Three point, sorry, three possession game for Orange and High. You don't need to come out here and try to make everything rain from deep. Yes, it's tough for them to make any shots from outside. I mean, from inside due to the perimeter defense we've seen from them, but they have to continue to try to punch in. That one almost finding a way through, as this one will be stolen away. Harnage and High try to pick this one back up. We'll get an extra pass, and that will lead to two points. Count it. Two points, four point difference. Now the Cardinals have come out in a big way. You see everybody on that bench trying to just coach this team into a good moment as a quick foul. And that's going to be a quick foul here. You know, and a bit interesting. We'll be called for a block. And, you know, I, I really feel in these games where you get higher and higher into the top of who is the top basketball team in Texas. You officiating, it's so much more strict. A good spin move into the corner. Three-pointer. Don't count it. And that one almost falling it would have been a highlight play. We would have been watching that one. I would have posted it on the Real Sports Live Instagram. It, the Harlingen. Instagram. Apologize about that little step up here. Right now here on the Orange and YouTube channel. This team trying to continue showcasing their wherewithal. This one will go back the other way as San Antonio Harlan trying to break this defense down. Yeah, you see a little stutter step there. Just trying to have the defender react. A three-point from the corner. Will not be able to go. And everyone's standing up there. And they need a shot. They just have not been able to get it. Besides that first one, and this one will be two. As 5-0-2 remaining. Oh, this is going to be some, some good shots here. Number three here for Hollingen High has been playing great. And Luis Rodriguez, the 5'10 junior. First attempt, too strong, won't be able to get it. As we see, Austin, I'm oh, sorry, Ashton Barajas, the 6'1 junior. You can see his time in the sun as Alex Hernandez will have a quick break. 6'4. Hernandez being the tallest player here. The one person I don't believe we've seen yet. Oh, should we have seen Justin Nelson? 6'8 junior. 6'8 junior. Say it again. 6'8 junior. He has another year in high school and is already that tall and is showing that the height advantage here by San Antonio Harlan has to continue being a major effect. And this one will be poked away. We're looking for some contact. This one will go out of bounds. Orange and High will retain possession. Now, Orange and High will retain possession. 448 remaining. This has been a quick game. You're, you're, you're seeing how this team likes to operate, and they're not going to take their time. 449 remaining in this one. Orange and High will be able to take this to a baseline. 
Trying to find an open man. We'll be able to get the pass in. And you see number 20 and Ruben Gonzalez, the second tallest player here with a three-point attempt, will be short. Caught underneath the basket. And this one will go out of bounds right back for the Harlington Cardinals. And this has been a fun game. Two fouls here for San Antonio, one for Harlingen. We saw quite a number of fouls back at the start of the first and second quarter. And you see the coach here trying to talk with the referee here. And, you know, I don't know what the officials or what's being told is this one will be called whistle blown. You know, a little interesting. I don't, I don't know what's happening right now at the scorer's desk. It looks like they want to talk things over. And interesting what the official call here. You, you saw the coach here for San Antonio Har Harlan trying to kind of petition something. And I, I believe they were trying to talk about no basket or so what effect that was. But all we know is a game coming right back in here. As San, Anto as San Antonio need to make a big defensive stop. Orange and High will be able to have an inbound pass here from the baseline. As uh, this one, call four, will be a turnover here to not get the pass quick enough. Yeah, that's, that's an unforced error that you can't have right now. 424 remaining here in the third quarter. And, you know, you're not giving a lot of time. You know, as we said it, they had a total 16 minutes of, of official game time to play. And, you know, for San Antonio, you have to find a way to continue on the good footing. 33-38. This one will push to the outside. Three-point attempt. Won't be able to connect, but the rebound will be able to fall in for an add one. And one pushed at the 40. Four eleven remaining here. We'll see a couple shots here at the charity strike. First attempt. We'll be able to go. Yeah, great job there. Now, able to push this to 41. They've been doing a good job of just keeping them at arm's length. Eight-point lead right now. As Harnigan has only been... I believe into two points is a good job there. We'll be able to pick up a rebound, trying to work back inside, and we'll be able to get the contact. Great job there by the shooter. Pump fake, saw the defender go up in the air and used the contact there to give himself two free shots at the charity strike. And no, 352 remaining. Uh, that one will be able to fall. As this one, able to grab both. Well, San Antonio Harlan, 34, 41. You're up by seven. And right now, they, they don't need to press the offense. Just need to take your time. Be methodical, allow for possession to continue to run on your end. As they're trying to work through the perimeter. Extra pass into the corner. Will not go for the three-point attempt. But they will go back to the top of the key. Puts it up as that one won't be able to fall. Number 23, Bryce Christian, the shooter on that last shot. Hunting and high, trying to find an open man. Working near the baseline, will be able to get this. The mid-range attempt will be get this pass out to the outside as whistle blown. Yeah, 3.07 remaining. And San Antonio now going to have the ball here. That's an unfortunate error that they need, did not need, and we will see Justin Nelson, the 6'8 junior, fall right back here at the chorus table. And a foul coming on number 20 here for Arlington High. We will see number 23 step into the game. Well, it's been a good third quarter. You have to 
really like the way this team really just saw themselves kind of take a big step forward after coming out of the locker room. They were able to really heed the call of their coach. But, you know, it's been a lack scoring game. And the quick pass, three-point attempt, can't connect. The rebound will go back for the boys in black. Yeah, the boys in black right now. Just need to get a shot open. That one just clanks off the front of the rim. And this is what we're talking about. You have to just be able to just find an open shot. I know you're struggling to find anything from deep. As that one will be able to fall through. Push that to 44. Yeah, now 10-point lead. And this one will be a timeout call. Orange and I want to talk things over with 2.24 remaining here in the third quarter. My name's Eric Alexander here for the Orange and I. 6A Area Championship. We'll be right back after this quick split screen. Two twenty-four here in the third quarter. Ten points separating both these teams. The San Antonio have come on the road here to Laredo, Texas, and came off the bus shooting the basketball. You know, it's kind of an uncharacteristic game. You can see some of the fans here kind of at all on the way this shooting performance has come through. And you know, it's just the expectations from these squads are so high. But you know, you're in the area championship. Pressure is on, trying to find some open space. Works his way inside. That one will be two at the charity strike. Two eleven remaining. Now we will see number fourteen at the chair uh, at the scores table for Harlan. That is Jordan Grady, this sophomore. As this free throw won't be able to connect, we'll have Knowledge Carter. Have a chance to take a break. And he was the player that everyone was talking about in this game, especially that Carlin Hargrove is not in here, currently hurt. You know, they're really looking for him to do something big, as this one will be called a foul. It was foul number 25 here. I believe it's a 25 or 22, one of those two. But, you know, this is where Orange and I, they were able to get a rebound, but now just have to try to work our way back. Trying to find the top of the key. We're able to get a spin move. And the big shot won't be able to fall as the second chance effort falling in for San Antonio Harlan. Yeah, great job here by the Hawks. They're just working as the defense continuing to be a pest onto the side. But a three point attempt won't be able to come through. You know, and you see Williams continue to play a phenomenal pace. He's done a great job of really putting this team forward. But now, here in the late stages, you need something to kind of differentiate yourself. This one will be a, pop, a good pass here at the top of the key. It's running high. Junior trying to find a way, but a miscommunication here at 122. Oh, you know, it's Anthony Holland. This is a game where now you don't have to really try to push the envelope. You're up by double digits. And a big jam there. We'll be able to push this one to 46. As everybody up on their feet here for the Harlan squad. Now it's that turn. You know, this is where you're slowly getting momentum. Good shot inside. Won't be able to come through. But the rebound will be able to fall in here for Harlan and High. It's a quick pass. Trying to work inside. And everybody can grab that one. Pushed it to 48. Yeah, 48 with 45 seconds remaining. Orange and High now trying to see if they need to work on the other way of the court. But nope. Orange and High only with eight minutes left, down by 14. 
As whistles blown. A foul there. On Santana Harlan. Let me see what number he called. I believe he said 1-4. And that one would be Jordy Grady, player who just stepped into the court. And that's not where you're really seeing too much there. First shot attempt won't be able to fall. We will see number 15 in Guadalupe Castillo. You know, the senior checking into this game late, trying to see if he can make a big f noise for himself. As he'll 6-3 out there, trying to show that he can be a factor to really help this team maybe potentially come back with a victory. But you know, the Santa Cruz is gone. It's, 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 the fans here are saying we don't we don't want to see that comeback. We want to see our team just get an easy victory. But it has not been that. This, this one will go out of bounds. Harlan's in high, potentially grabbing this one with 31 seconds remaining. At 31 seconds, and Harlan's in high. Trying to put themselves in a good place. This one will be able to work. Reverse layup. Count that one for two. Yeah, 12-point game now. You know, they're, they're keeping this one close. And, you know, it, it's not going to be easy to win this one, but it's going to be one of those games where you may see the winner in the final minute and a half, final 30 seconds, where it comes out quick. And this one will be poked going right back, 400 and high. Stopping the clock here at 14 seconds. Oh, 14 seconds remaining. You potentially have one more shot here for San Antonio Harlan. Try to push yourself into 50 and make it a 14 point again once again. With Williams. May just take this ball down. We'll be able to get an extra pass. Three point attempt off the front of the rim. Harlan and High having some chance here. And three pointer. Count it. What a shot there. That's going to put this team on the board with a big three-pointer. 39 to 48, 11 points separating these two teams. And we go to a quick commercial break. A fresh eight minutes and the final eight minutes. The person who will move on to the next round will be decided right here and now. The boys from Orange and High trying to move that on. But San Antonio Harlan currently leading by nine. A three-point attempt won't be able to fall through. This one will be able to work back the other end here. As the Cardinals, three-point attempt, bang! Wow, that's to push this to a six-point game. And things have just started to open up. Tantone Harlan needs to find a way to get some quick baskets. But that's one aspect that they have been such a good team doing. Now that one will be poked loose. And Santana Harlan will be grabbing this. I mean, we'll see number 14 come off the bench here. Jordan Gray. Yeah, going Grady right now, I believe, will be subbed out. You see him talking to his coach right now, full of emotions, but nope. We'll have to see if he's potentially in foul trouble. And Magnum, the freshman, trying to work this through. You know, this is where the freshman has to come and play a big game, you know, for himself. You're going to have three more years in this program here at San Antonio Holland, and you want to be able to make a lot of memories. And it all starts with the first year, the quick pass into the corner. Want to see if he can grab anything here. This one will be poked loose. 
Stopped by Orange and High, 7.05 remaining. Yeah, 7.05 remaining, six point game. And Orange and High trying to make a big statement, but it will be the boys from San Antonio trying to hold on. You, you see that the passion starts to really come out here from San Antonio. They, they want this bad. And with the lead here, they just need to be able to come in to play their type of ball game. But here for the boys in black, they need to make some big stops. Right back on, deep three. Won't be able to connect, but the rebound still coming through with a second chance attempt. Again, not falling in as Harnage and I will work their way back on the other side. Yeah, and a quick steal there as Williams. Big dunk, smashes that through as the dry spell now over. Yeah, now back to an eight point game. A big slam there, a three pointer potentially. Could try to suck the air out of this room here on this side of the three. Child. Whoa, Ben with a four and one. Wow, wow, wow. Basket counts and a five-point game with 6-16 remaining. Yeah, like we said we're here for the dramatics. I'm all for it. Four-point play to bring us into four. Oh, and this is a fun one. Fun game. One that's going to be remembered. It's orange and high. We'll be able to make it fall. A four-point game now. It's Antonio Harlan has been stifled offensively currently. Trying to see if they can get some big shots open. And working his way side. Williams will be able to use his length. And that's where you have to ask Williams. Just say, go up for it. Nobody can stop you at the rim. Just beat them over their heads. And continue trying to make some good work. It's Harnigan. I've relied a lot on Rodriguez so far to make some big plays inside. And that one will be able to go. Hey, they're fighting. They are fighting. Don't say the birds don't have claws. They have the Italians to sink into. But same can be said here for the Hawks. But the Hawks trying to hold on. And what do you want from a bird bowl? This are those moments. The freshman, Langham, trying to find his way through into the corner. Langham works his way, getting an extra pass, trying to find an open man. We'll take an extra treble and we'll be able to splash it on. Well, that's going to be a huge boost. This team hasn't signed too many points. And now you see Harlan Janai, final five minutes. This is where you have to play perfect if you're hoping to get a win. And a three-point attempt won't be able to go as that's going to be a foul. The loose ball foul. As Harlingen High will have two men coming through. I believe it was number 10 in Justin Nelson. Has some fresh legs coming in here for Harlingen High. We will see number five and number 22, Andrew Galdamez. Gal Gal Apologize about that. So number five is number 22 in Butter Aleman. A three point attempt from the corner to sign not to go. Mid range shot. Just throws that ball up as a rebound coming in. Yeah, you, you can't take those type of shots. You, you can't feel the pressure right now. You're still in this game. You just need to be able to continue trying to fight. As a foul here. On number 20, and you feel the confusion. And that's going to be a huge, 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 huge foul. Yeah, and that's here with four and a half minutes remaining. You really just need yourself to not give too many opportunities here to the charity strike as Williams will see his time in the sun here. For Williams, has really been a standout player, trying to get himself an MVP. First shot will be able to fall. Put that at 56. Second chance attempt. Trying to go perfect from the line. And that one will be able to connect. You know, it looks like he actually a three point play. So, you no, know, we'll have another opportunity. Trying to push it right back into 10. Orange and High was able to bring it all the way to four, but a good run so far by this Holland team. This one, three for three, pushes the 58. 
Ten point lead here for the boys in white and blue as they were looking to try to get a clean victory tonight, but they have been have to get their hands dirty. As the boys in back, the men in black. Trying to see if they can potentially make an upset here tonight. Yeah, but it's going to take some amazing shooting. They're, you're going to have to be perfect from outside. It's a good shot here. Won't be able to fall. This one will get a hard and high rebound. Yeah, second, second chance attempt. Will be able to get through. Half count it. Eight point game and four minutes remaining. Look at San Antonio Harlan to potentially use the fact there's no shot clock to their advantage, try to drain this clock, potentially take 30 seconds off. Yeah, they can take 30 to 45 seconds off this clock and you're up by eight right now. You know it's a four possession game, a three possession game. As this one will be gone, unless it will go a timeout by Harlingen High. They're gonna talk things over. And it looks like they're going to talk things over. The timeout came in time. You know, this, is running where, this is where things start to really come out. You see the Hollingen coach kind of talking over things. They're trying to see who is going to get possession. They're saying that the ball was bobbled. But, you know, it will see how this one kind of gets resolved. And it will be a cardinal ball. They gain possession, but lose a timeout. Huge play with 3.43 remaining. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. Back into the action. A little under four minutes to go here. It's hard and high. They need some big shots. They have to go perfect from every opportunity. Cannot waste a single possession. As that one won't be able to go, we'll have a second chance attempt. Working his way inside, trying to go for two. And that one will fall. Yeah, good shot there. Cut this into six. Two, point, two possession lead here at San Antonio Harlan. Needing a big basket. Yeah, they need this basket right now. They, they can't allow for themselves to kind of come up empty possession here. But you know if you're a Harlingen High fan here on the Harlingen YouTube channel, you're hoping for themselves to just kind of lose this ball. And more importantly, just not be able to make a shot at the three point attempt from downtown. Able to splash through. Push the 61 to 52. Back to a nine point game. They need three threes to tie this one. They also need to come up big offensively. Try not to lose the ball here. They're able to get an extra pass. Orange and high, working in. Won't be able to get the contact call. And a jump ball will go back for Antonio Harlan. Yeah, jump ball attempt. Oh, no. It's like, so it will be a foul on number 22 here. Oh, interesting. Uh, they may have not liked the tug there, but. No, usually in those moments we see a jump ball, but we'll just be end up being a foul. Two fouls each for both these teams. As Williams will be in charge to take this one out. Williams, he's, he's had a good game. He's had two dunks, I believe, here today already. And right now he's trying to just finish this game off with two and a half minutes remaining. This one will go back. Orange and high. We'll have a foul called with 219. And that's going to put foul number three on the board. Two more until extra. Williams right now seeing to see if he can be that player to really change the tide. Yeah, especially with two. As we said the game was going to be decided here in the last two minutes. And 
for Orange. And if this water end doesn't go in between the basket, you can kind of call this game over because there's not much time left to really try to get yourself on. As will be an open look. Fun fake, three-pointer, won't be able to get it. And this one almost finding a way back in. And the quick pass will be stolen away by Harnes and High. Yeah, great transition play, this effort. And that's what we're seeing. Three-pointer, can't go, shorts. Ah, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Now this game's starting to wind down a bit. We need a big play, but a foul call. And that one will be a turnover. Well, I did say last 30 seconds probably going to be the deciding factor, but, you know, for Williams, he's been having a good day. They need his height right now to really make some big defensive stops. And, you know, you have two fouls to give potentially here for San Antonio Harlan. So you're trying to make sure this team earns it from the earns it from everywhere, not trying to give any free attempts here, especially at the charity strike. Yeah, this is a game where I feel for San Antonio Harlan. You have to really just say, boys, we have to band together if you want to get ourselves into that next round. But both can be set from both these two sides. But no matter what happens here, you can't put your head down. This is, wow, this is a phenomenal game with two juggernaut squads. Only half or have to potentially have one go away. And this is kind of the only bittersweet part of the playoffs is, you know, survival of the fittest pushed here. Now, that's 129 remaining. Not a lot of time. But the only silver lining is that there are four fouls. One more foul will put them at bonus. And for Hanich and High, you need a quick bucket. You need to come up with points. Yeah, you see the heartbeat right now. The open three-pointer can't connect. And that one will just go back. San Antonio Harlan trying to dribble this one out. The final 73 seconds is Muggum. Losing the ball, that one will be a San Antonio possession. It's 106. Yeah, 106 and nine points still the difference. As Williams trying to work it on, but a timeout called. 101 remaining here in the area championship at a three possession game right now. San Antonio Harlan trying to close this game out and move their way into round number three. But the boys in black trying to see if they can play spoilers. All the answers as we come back. It's been a fun day here in the home of the United Longhorns. And the final countdown, 61 seconds remaining here in the area championship here in Laredo, Texas, as the Orange and Cardinals currently down by nine as San Antonio Harlan Hawks trying to punch their ticket into next week. And this has been a great game. No matter what happens, neither team needs to hang their heads. It's been such a fun one to call and no fun one to watch. So this one will go out of bounds. A quick touch there off the inbound pass. And just look for them just to waste time. I don't really see them trying to get too many buckets here. I, I feel they're just going to try to pass this ball around, try to take up as much as they possibly can. There's no need to potentially try to give a possession right back here to Harnigan. And this one will go. Williams gets a little dunk here in the last couple of seconds. They end with a highlight play. It's Harnigan needing to get some quick shots. Not having much time to really lollygag as that one will be able to go. And we'll stop the clock here at 36. Yeah, 36 seconds. And now for this team who didn't have their star in Carlin Hargrove, they found a star in Cameron Williams, the junior. 
as well as Justin Nelson, the junior. Two players that have used their height here tonight, but no, I, I don't really don't know what else to say. It's been San Antonio who's just been continued to play at such a high efficient clip, the transitional plays, the way they've been able to lock down on defense. But more importantly, it's been Harnage and High's continue effort to the final whistle has kept them in this game. Yes, they're down by nine right now, but you know, they have really shown to be a team that can make a big statement. And next year, this team will lose four players. Alejandro Lucio, Andrew Calamez, Ruben Gonzalez, as well as J.C. Aleman. Four key cogs that they're going to have to see if they can try to change the tide in for next year. But all the experience coming in will have mostly a senior ball club, mostly seniors and juniors here with a handful of sophomores in the mix. And San Antonio Harlan, 36 seconds away from round number three here in the Texas playoffs. As this one will be a three-point attempt, won't be able to fall through as a foul called. And it looks like a push there on number three. And that will be, I believe, three shots. Yeah, three shots. That's, oh, no, two shots. It will be bonus. And right now they're trying to see who's going to shoot these free throws. And Luis Rodriguez. They're trying to figure out who the shooter will be. And it will be Andrew Galamez, one of the seniors here that Essentially trying to change the tide and maybe help this team come right back. If he makes all three of these, they will be down by six. So still a long ways to go. Now this one will be able to get put through. First one on. Trying to get a second one to go. Actually, this will be two, as both of them will be able to connect. 56-63. And this one will be a foul called. You had a foul. They have three to give. Stopping the clock. And right now, you're down by seven. Three-possession game again. And this is it's not those moments where it's going to get easy for you. As it will be a foul. Push this to four. And right now, Harnage and I just trying to see if they can just prolong the inevitable for a little longer, maybe get some late dramatics, but it will take the basketball gods' mighty graces to come back. Just because of time, but not because of whatever. Well, this one will be a steal. Push through, needed a three-point attempt. Won't be able to hit. Would have been huge as that win will stop the clock at 17 seconds. If he drained that. Four-point game, 17 seconds, and things get really interesting, but there will be some shots here at the charity strike for San Antonio Harlan. And it will be number four in Elijah Moore. We'll have the free throw attempts here. And all round of applause for the players here. Harnage and High had a phenomenal season. They played tough to the very end. But this Hawks team they have just been special. You know, and you know, I, we really feel a lot of the fans here kind of said that it's kind of not how they expected the Hawks to play here today in terms of they felt that this team could have kind of played a little better. But Harnage and High is a really great squad, and that can be tell you why this team had some struggles really keeping the lead. It's, we saw Harnage and High have it all up into four points, but weren't able to really close that gap. And they're going to see if they can get a quick pass. Three-point attempt off the backboard won't go. As final five seconds, going to end this game. Williams gets a last-second two-pointer. As that's going to be double zeros on the clock, 63-56. The final score here as it will be number 11, Karen Williams, grabbing the MVP here for the Hawks. 
My name is Eric Alexander. Alex Cantu on the camera. We hope you had a great afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We know it was a fun one overall, as we will see San Antonio Harlan next week. We'll see who they potentially play, but the Harlan Cardinals will end their season here. But great job here for the boys in black. Great job overall. Their, their excellence, their ability to continue working is the reason they got it this far, and they fought this team to the bitter end. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I love you. We'll be back with some more action. We'll have some softball action tomorrow if we go back to La Jolla, Texas. So should be a fun one overall. Hope you have a great night. Ladies and gentlemen, drive safe. We love you.